I am dying to talk about Christopher Morell's. He was in the nine hole again. Five for five performance. The first time a rookie has done that in a Cubs uniform since. Hold on, Juice. Wait for it. Wait for it. Micah Hoffpower. Oof. I mean, that's a fucking name right there. Let's be honest. Um, but, yeah, man, he just went absolutely nuts. And then he had to hit one off the position player, I believe, at the end there. So, sorry for – I forget who was in the game at that point. But just to just to kind of, you know, tag on to what he did the rest of the game, which he had an incredible night. I've noticed the adjustments that he's been making at the plate. Um, I know that they wanted to mix it up. Ross wanted to mix it up, build the confidence back up by moving him to the nine hole. I wasn't a huge fan of it, to be honest with you, at first. Um but I, at the same time, I like the first game that he did that. He had a great game at the plate, right? So um, I love what I'm seeing from Morell. A lot of the the breaking ball issues I think that he's been having, I don't think it's because of chasing. Like I was looking at his, you know, I, I am a kind of a stat cast nerd guy, and I like to look at that stuff. Pitchers are throwing him in that bottom, like underneath the strike zone low and away 25 percent of the pitches are in that section of the plate no other section of the plate quadrant or however you want to say it, it it's not even to 10 percent. they're throwing it to that that spot of the zone all the time and it's just a massive difference but then you look at like swing percentage by zone he it's only 34 percent. he doesn't swing that often low and away at those pitches but he does miss those pitches, so there's a reason why people are throwing him there. A lot of the struggles, I think, he's just missing in the zone and missing – like he's having good at-bats, though, still. That's what's really positive, I guess, about this whole thing. So I'm kind of going on a long rant here, but I guess the, my main point is even through his struggles, it wasn't like he was really, really struggling. It was more so to me that he just cooled down. He wasn't getting the, the major luck. He was striking out, but – he wasn't having horrible, horrible at bats. It was just, yeah, he is a little bit strikeout prone at, at times. Still, that's that's still he, what he's working on. Juice, what did you think about Morel tonight? And uh, anything that I just kind of said there? Yeah, I, I I agree with a lot with what you've said. I think too, like you talked about them pitching him low and away. I, I always thought that's a mark of a good hitter. You know, the the fact that good one of the hardest zones to to hit some, a ball real hard is low and away. You know, it's tough to go that other way and stay with it, stay on it, and hit the ball hard, you know, to the right side. I I like what, what you put together with the idea that, you know, he has had good at-bats. I think he has. He is so much more strikeout prone than I would like. Yeah. But the, then again, like, he's so young that I, I think that that's something that he'll trend in a better direction as he sees more at bats in the MLB.